What's up, gang? Back again for the start of our week one game in the Legacy Football League. It's your boy, Court. And we ready. Ready to open up the year and get it started. We're trying to go 17 0. Philadelphia Eagles, baby. Let's do it. Um, a little bit of information to set this up, right? So, this is like I alluded to in the intro video. Um, this is a sim football league sim simulation style football this is going to be a little bit different than what you may be used to seeing on the internet or on youtube with madden videos ranked videos um there's not going to be a lot of the same spam play calling there's not going to be a lot of inside zone well you will see some inside zone but you won't see that as the only play called right so in this league in these leagues i've been playing in for almost a decade now we like to try to make the video game look as close to real football as possible now we all know that's not entirely possible because after all this is a video game but the goal is play the way you see on sundays that's the goal basically all sim leagues and i know there are going to be a lot of folks watching this video that are you know adjusted to sim leagues they know what sim football is um but if you, this is your first time enjoy you're in for a treat this is what sim football looks like there are a lot of rules um and I know them all, so, you know, I, there's nothing I have to really think about. My play style is sim football style by default. So that's what that is. And let's get ready to kick this game off against the Lions. Week one of the Legacy Football League, season one, week one. We're ready to get it started. This is my debut um, for this Mad this Madden, Madden 23. Let's get it on. Um, the keys to this game, don't turn the ball over and turn the ball over. Make him turn the ball over as much as you can. That's typically the rule, um, the, my rule of thumb when I like to play. So that's what you can expect. Let's see how it turns out. So just starting off in this game, I don't really want to start off, you know, being too aggressive i don't want to throw any picks we want to look to kind of get into a, a quick rhythm and a quick flow into this game um as you'll see you know interceptions obviously as real football goes you know whoever can turn the ball over the least you know we usually give themselves the best chance to win that kind of reigns true in, in all sports quick in breaking route connected with Devonte smith right underneath good way to start the drive and start the season kick it off with a completion get hurts warmed up and um you know get Devonte his first catch of his sophomore year looks like we stepping up here in the ace formation and again another pretty routine check down easy completion and here we are with Hurts quickly, two for two. Now he's coming out in this cover three, and um, he's 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 using the middle linebacker in the hook zone. So I, I I'm not really too afraid of his user, but I want to be a little bit more cautious with um, you know where I'm placing these passes. I don't want to give uh, Jalen Hurts right now, who's he's you know marginally rated <laughs> meaningly rated they're very lowly rated at this particular moment we'll definitely get that boosted as the season going again a little play action fake hit goddard on the drag across the middle on the dagger route dagger concepts good hit he's in two man good completion three for three now for hertz to start the game Exactly what we're looking for. Exactly what we want. Coming out here looks like this is looks like cover four. We run the ball. Great run by Miles Sanders. Looks like he got a little more, and it was cover four. We're in a three by with a three trip set. Run Sanders inside the left tackle. Gets a three yard gain. Three yards on that last carry. 
this first drive, we're, we're kind of moving. This is exactly how I, I wanted the first drive to open up this game. I wanted to be consistent and, and, and move the ball downfield liberally. And here I just take a quick dump down to Sanders. I don't want to force this, and that's Sanders' second catch of the of the possession. See, they're in a cover two invert here. And I, I just don't want to make any mistakes with the ball, specifically early in this game. That's going to be something that you see throughout this season. Um, very cautious with, you know, with my ball placement and my decision making offensively. Two by two set. Now this is a great throw here. Big completion to Devontae Smith again. Four for four now in this drive. Another cover four look by the defense and another dagger concept by me. This time a deeper in break in breaking rod I hit across the middle. Deeper across the middle of that field. He took the bait on the drag and out of the slot underneath, which opened up deeper route down the middle of the field, that deep in route. And now we're in the red zone, and let's see if we can punch this one in. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Ooh, a bit of a sloppy run that looked like, but Miles Sanders is able to capitalize and turn it into positive. Gets another first down. 10-yard gain. And now we're inside the five-yard line. And that's the point, because my admiration is for the guys moving the ball right now. They know what they're doing. Their plan is working. But I flip it over and watch and say, okay, what are you going to do to change things up? Because if you don't, they're going to put that ball in the end zone real soon. Wondering what type of defense you want to come out is obviously, you know, when you once you get into the red zone, the area of the field shrinks and it's very very hard to to, to move the ball in this position. You got to be very precise with your ball placement. And you know, here um, I'm looking for this post or these two in breaking routes over the middle. And if I see, you know, if it looks hairy, if it looks like it's not there at all, we definitely go into that flat check down just to make sure that we stay safe when we get two yards which is good so second and goal here I'm gonna try to punch this in for a score so the ball position now at the three here's second and goal Hurt sets up to throw it and we got it Grant Calicatera and we got a rough penalty so we get seven, first touchdown of the year, seven nothing. As long as we can bang home this point after, which we do, and there you have it, Eagles up seven nothing. Start the year. Now let's up, let's check out and see what we could do on defense. Now this guy, I know he sometimes he has been in the past inconsistent on offense, and um, so you know as always, I'm looking to force turnovers. I'm looking to get off the field as quickly as possible. You know, at least as many plays as possible. Let's get off the field. Let's get back on offense. Um, preferably, you know, we would like a turnover. So he looks like he's coming out in the wing stack. Too wide. So in this type of situation, what I'm looking for here is... I'm looking to first take away any in-breaking routes here. That's why I'm manned up on Kai's White. I'm looking to take away anything in-breaking and jump it. Great reaction by me. Great reaction by me here. He's got a zone week. He takes it inside the tackle, and I, I shoot the gap, and I meet him there for a two-yard gain. I, I, I kind of stuff that before he's able to get anything going. Second and eight. 
and he's coming on a three by one set. And this I might, because I'm not too afraid of his receivers as a re, as they relate to mine, um, as they relate to my corners rather. So I, I do have a little bit more um, flexibility and to be able to call man. So here I think I'm in in here. It's a great little a, a decent pass by this by the offense. Uh, he took the check down. I'm in the cover three seams. I'm making sure that I, I protect the middle of the field. Um, in this three deep look, uh, but he he made the right call, threw it to the flat, move on to the next down. Now he's in third and five. Third and medium is an interesting um, down down a distance because now I, I'm feel I feel very 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 confident in, in almost calling anything in my playbook at this particular moment. Now I know he's in a position where he's going to be forced to have to make a throw. Um, he's not going to be able to run the ball here. Comes out in a tight set. Tight set, I always, I typically like the man tight sets. I mean, man tight sets up. N not in this part of the field. If I was a little more, if he was a little closer to my end zone, I would probably man this up here, but I'm going to zone this up. Cover three look again, and I'm, tr I'm trying to beat and get, oh. And here we are, I have an interception by Darius Slay. The Slay maker, big play Slay. He takes that back for a touchdown. And, you know, just a missed throw by Jared Goff. Very, very bad throw. And that's what happens. So just like that, we're up 14-0 midway through the first quarter. And things are looking, looking, looking pretty good so far. Now they're quickly in the hole. This is definitely a hard position. As you'll see throughout this season, is this is a tough position to be in against the Eagles um, because we typically do a very good job of playing with leads. And once we are able to force teams to be in a position to have to throw the ball, that kind of leads leads to us kind of playing in our in our comfort zone. And here we are coming out in a bunch set under center. Bunch sets, I usually always will zone these up. You'll either see me in a, a, a cover two zone, Tampa two, some type of sink, or what I'm in now, cover four. And my, my defensive ends just totally dominate there. Josh Sweat and Riddick really, really made a big play there. Philadelphia's own Riddick as well. Here we have back in cover four again, and looks like I'm going to audible down to cover one, one high. And a great run by DeAndre Swift to open up this drive. Interestingly enough, third and five here. I'm not expecting him to throw the ball, but he is. And um, because of the momentum on my team, we've, we've been able to identify his main route. And you see I'm out here playing it. And I kind of let it go, but that's a great throw by him to St. Brown on a, a little in-breaking route in the stack set. It's a good throw. Good completion to move the chains, specifically after coming off of that turnover. That's exactly what you need. One, exactly what you want to see. And they're coming out. It looks like they're coming out in a three by one, three by one set. You'll usually see me man a lot of these up. Very, very comfortable with manning these sets up, specifically with Slay and Bradbury on the outside. And again. I think that's 
Josh Sweat again being dominant on that edge. It's going to be very hard for any team to run against us all, all season. A lot of talent, a lot of depth up front. Fletcher Cox, Jordan Davis, Josh Sweat, Riddick, Brandon Graham, Super Bowl champion Brandon Graham. Put some respect on his name, always. Uh, who else we got? Hargrave. You know, obviously, then we go to the second level. Kobe Dean, Kai's White, TJ Edwards. It's a lot of players in that front seven. It's going to make it very, very hard to move the ball consistently on the ground. And as you see that front seven come into play again, Fletcher Cox getting his first sack of the year. Running stick, and, you know, everything is covered up. Great defense, third and third and long, and, and we're looking to to get off the field here, and you know, hopefully try to push this lead to 21 early. We're still, you know, almost out of the first quarter, but we still have a full two minutes to play in this first quarter. It's not looking good. So here we are. We're in three, three, three man again, three deep, and the Kobe Dean, the rookie. Drops right back into the passing lane in those deep hook zones. Took those hook zones a little bit further back because of the down and distance. And he was able to throw a pick, trying to force a play over the middle. Probably should have just took the check down and, and moved on. But now, you know, you compound this this, this quick deficit by uh, turning the ball over on your side of the field. And, and now we're in perfect position to continue to pile on to this lead early in the game. Basically right at midfield. Don't want to come out too aggressive here. Want to play a little conservative, see if we can move the ground a little bit. Great defense by the linebacker there, meeting Sanders right in that gap. Nowhere to go. Second and nine. At least he was able to grab one a yard just to you get something positive going. Now, this is typically a situation where I want to kind of get back um, – get back what we, we didn't get that first that first down want to get back you know you, you never really want to play against the downs too much I kind of want to stay with the downs second and nine here two by one set nice throw to Boston Scott Took about a five yard game. Third and medium, third and manageable. Doing a really good job of kind of making up for that first down play. Keeping myself in, in a, a manageable distance. Playbook is wide open in this position. Third and four. Playbook's wide open. Very hard to call defenses against this. Against this. And here, as you see. Read option. Ooh, Jalen Hurts took a big hit. Able to maintain control of the ball. Gets the first down. Great play call. Lead read option. Three defender takes the running back, which opens up the alley for Jalen Hurts to scamper for the first down. First and 10 to 35. And at this point, you know, the game seems to be right in my hand. Um, as long as I, we don't turn the ball over here, things are going very, very well. Tough play call here. And, you know, this is my always one of my pet peeves of calling screen plays. And I tried to make didn't want to call the slip screen play. I called it the cross screen play to kind of cause some misdirection just so that you know, the defender couldn't get a quick read on it and blow it up, but they were still able to blow it up anyway. You know, I, I do like and will utilize cross, you know, cross screens and slip screens and wide receiver screens throughout the year, but you know, sometimes when they don't work, man, they can really put you in a hole when you're trying to be, you know, progressive and staying you know, ahead of the chains. So here we're in a kind of a tight spot here, second and 13, into the first. 
Um, things are going pretty well. We're in pretty, pretty much in good control of the game at this point. But you know, kind of a hairy situation here. We don't want to turn the ball over. We don't want to force anything. We want to take what's there. We're we're about, I would say, five yards out of field goal range. <laughs> so I'm thinking here, easy completion. Get the five. And as Quez Watkins makes the guy miss, it looks like Quez gets about five to six yards in that. And that's exactly what we want. Slot drive. This is exactly what we want. Now we can kind of be conservative here and run the ball, or we can continue to press and pass. But I think it may be smart to kind of play a little conservative, take your points, run the ball here. If you get the first down, great. But if you don't, we, we have points in, the, in our back pocket here. And, and decent field goal range here. Very makeable kick. And tough throw. Looks like I had Brown initially, but I, I hesitated. If I would have thrown to Brown there, he probably pushes the pile forward and or, or makes the defender miss even and, and gets the first down here. But as I said, we're, we're 50 yard field goal. This is a pretty easy kick. And it looks like we just barely get it this week over. Wow. Tough kick, but it still counts nonetheless. 17 nothing, And I'm pretty satisfied with the way this game is turning, turning out. Mm. Decent return. Gets it back to the 20. And at this point, defensively, we just need more of the same. They haven't had much success running the ball. Um, we just need to make sure we don't give up any quick hitting big shots to uh, let them back into this game. Three score game we have here. We want to keep this three score game lead. We don't want to let them back in with any cheap, cheap chunk plays, cheap big plays. You know, we want to make them earn it all the way downfield. He hasn't been able to sustain a drive yet. We want to make sure that he's forced to do so before we give up any points. Play, play action. No one's really open. Great defense, 55. Uh, second and 10. And as you see, great job. Two for five, 14 yards for Jared Goff, and two interceptions. Uh, this is a, a dominating defensive performance early on. And now he's coming, he's, he's, he's breaking down into smaller formations. Looks like he's going to run the ball here. Um, I think he may be coming to the realization that this is not going to be an easy game to throw the ball. You're going to have to really manufacture points against this defense. He does. Great defense. Good stop. As always, this being a sim league, there, you know, I know many people that may be checking this video out, um, may be a little confused as to why the pace is, is slowed down. The pace is slowed down because in this, the Legacy Football League, we want to replicate a a a football game that you would typically see on TV on Thursdays or Sundays or Monday nights, not necessarily. Um, what you would see in a, in a lobby or ranked lobby. So we, we do, we are sort of hamstrung by the rules, um, but all of which make it an enjoyable experience when you take yourself out of the video game mindset and kind of step into just consider it to be football. So third and seven here, we want to try to get off the field um, on Gardner Johnson, Chauncey. And and this was, I uh, if I was, I needed to be up a little bit higher. I'm in the cover three cloud and I'm in the seam flat. And if I'm up a little bit higher on this, maybe I can make a play on this ball. I'm down a little bit too low, tr trying to creep on any drags and jump things underneath, but I needed to be pushed back a little bit. It's the type of plays that I hate. Um, easy, easy read, easy throw, kind of let them off the hook there. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 
10. Mm. And that was a ooh, very, very fortunate play there by me. Um, the halfback wham runs right in the middle of that cover one. I, I missed time and missed the gap that I was supposed to be in. And I dove way too early and I set myself up to give up a touchdown. But luckily, fortunately for myself, um, he took a bad angle and, and I made a bad maneuver and was able to be tackled because that was clearly a touchdown had he just maintained his, his vertical running. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Drop the safety down here to, to protect against any lefts, any runs to the left off tackle. Um, and as you see, we had that left side entirely boxed up, but the right side was open. Only got two yards, but I was anticipating a run off left tackle, which is the reason why I wanted to bring down that free safety. This has got to be a passing down. Um, he, he hasn't, so far in his game, he hasn't shown the propensity to run back to back yet, nor has he had really had the success, which would, you know, make it necessary for him to continue to run, continue to run the ball. But I'm assuming he's going to pass here. So we're going to go drop back into three, three deep, cover three, and I'm going to play one of these hook zones underneath. And again, my theory, I'm, I'm trying to jump everything. And again, force another poorly thrown ball by Jared Goff and an interception there by James Bradbury. Big play. Big play. These are the type of plays that we're looking for. Again, it's going to be, we want to put these guys in position all year. This will be a theme. We want to put teams in position to have to throw the ball against us. Throw the ball through my user. Throw the ball past the secondary in this very, very athletic linebacking core. Probably one of the more one of the more um, athletic linebacker quarters the Eagles have had in decades. <laughs> and a big throw, big throw there, stepping up in the pocket again, hitting Devontae Smith, finding that soft spot in the cover two between that flat defender and the deep deep half. Great throw. Great throw by Jalen Hurts. Was looking for the, the hitch route there, but it wasn't there. Flat defender played down on that hard flat area. So you, you kind of want to hit that intermediate area in between that soft spot, in between corner and the safety playing deep half. And I thought that run could have gotten a little bit bigger if I was able to bend that a little more to the outside. It would have been, I thought I could have gotten through that first level. But a great, great play by the defense. Now at this point, this is uh, this is the, one of my favorite areas of the game. Um, it's currently a three-score game. I have the ball here. Um, I just had a, a three-yard run, second and medium. Um, this is kill time. This is this is this is going for the jugular here. Looking to put him, you know, put it away early. And a, another decent run by Kenny Gainwell. Is, Kenneth Gainwell is his first run of the, the game. Running the zone weak off the left tackle. He gets in between, gets a, inside of the left tackle. And gets a first down. I think I maybe have something here with the run game. He has not been able to stop the run game when I've, I've been consistently calling run plays behind his big off of the line. He hasn't been able to, to fill any gaps consistently and get any stops. Definitely has to be something I have to continue to do as this league continues to swell up. We tried again here. And uh, a much better job. Sanders hasn't had seemed to have much success running inside. I may have to look to get him on the outside more, get him out on the edge, utilize his speed and athleticism. It's not, you know, 
while he is a, a big back, a big physical back, he can be a physical back, but that's typically that's not his forte. He's he's definitely a guy that wants to get out on the edge and utilize his athleticism, his quick feet. We all know Miles Sanders has those dancing feet. <laughs> So here we are in a pistol set. Looks like they're in a cover three. And a quick completion to Goddard. Great throw. Outbreaking route. 11 for 12 now for Jalen Hurts. 95 yards and a touchdown. Throwing away from that invert, inverted cover two. Great read. Great play call. And right now, at this point, third and one. Playbook is completely open. Play action will be effective here. Looks like that A gap is just wide open. And we try to A gap, we don't get it. And this is definitely four down territory here. Four from one on the 24 yard line. Might as well go for it in this position. Easy decision here. Play action pass here will catch him off guard, but there's no need to be greedy. He hasn't stopped me at all, so I um, just want to go with Trey Sermon, newly acquired Trey Sermon off the waivers. He's recently cut by San Francisco. Happy to have him, and specifically for these situations. Short yardage, fourth down. He will probably be the, the guy that you would consider to be our power back, so let's utilize him. It's a good first down there. And as the second half begins to dwindle down, um, in this situation, we've got to start considering would this possibly be a four down territory um, if, we, if and when we get on the goal line here. Two by two set, 11 personnel. Jalen Hurts in the gun. Looks like covered through cloud here, and I almost made a huge mistake. Definitely is covered through cloud, and that right side of the field towards the strong side of the field, away from the barrier, the boundary, excuse me, away from the boundary. You have a flat defender there. It looks like he's in a hard flat. I read cloud flat um, during the drop back, and I, what I, where I should have thrown the ball was right behind that cloud defender that right behind that flat defender um i threw it into that whip route and could have possibly turned the ball over there luckily i did three by one set second and seven jalen hurts a great job stepping up into the pocket and scrambling for this first down here my left tackle jordan Malata. he got railroaded by this edge defender here and I left me no choice I had Dallas Goddard over the middle but I just didn't feel confident enough to make that throw um, it was more feasible to scramble here for the first down and you know sometimes that's how you got to take it you know you're not going to always be in a position to push the ball downfield and, and to throw the ball the way some of these defenders are just menaces on the edge especially you got to just play smart first and goal I missed my opportunity here I kind of just threw this ball away had to throw that away um, I you know I'm not looking for the two deep routes here the two double moves I'm not specifically not in this part of the field um, I wanted to, to I should have been looking left to right um, at my tight end two to my tight end one but I I flipped it and I was looking right to left and I, I messed up and the defender played it well on the right side so I just had to throw that one away down the middle of the field using the, the new new feature in, in this year's Madden um, the free form passing um, allows you the flexibility to kind of put the ball wherever you want so you can throw the ball away now without necessarily throw the throw the ball away um, button animation 
Second and goal. Run the ball. Good stop by the defense. Kenny Gainwell. Three-yard gain. Third and goal here. Now, this is a tricky situation because depending upon what happens here on this play, um, this may be four down territory here. So three yards to gain, 17 nothing. He hasn't really threatened or done anything offensively. So I, I'm very comfortable with him starting a drive inside the three-yard line. So if I'm able to get a yard or two here and end up on the half-yard line or even on the, the two-yard line, I'm, I feel very confident going for it on fourth now. So let's see what happens. Two-minute warning. Two minute warning always comes up right when you think you're about to get that playoff. <laughs> but it's good here. The clock running and the you know the clock moving helps me specifically the way this game is going. It's been all Eagles this entire first half. It's been a no call, no show so far for the Detroit Lions. So the, the clock running helps me. Let's get up out of here. So I wonder what he's going to come out in here. If he comes out in zone, looks like this is man. This could be a cover one or a cover three. Read option and tough play call there. Luckily, neither one of those defenders out there broke on it. It's a cover three. Uh, Grant Calicatera stuffed and... Stuff for a loss, so I'm just definitely gonna have to go ahead and kick this field goal. I needed to get a yard to make to make myself confident to go for it on fourth down, but fourth, fourth and goal from the four is just not worth it. So I'll take the three, go up 20 to nothing. Kick the ball back off to him, and let's see if he's gonna try to press the issue to try to get a score before the half. I want to make some quick subs. I like having um, Hargrave or Jordan Davis inside next to Cox just in case he might try to go against the grain here and play it more conservative and take it into the half. You don't want to give up anything. You could very easily give up a, a big chunk play on the ground and give him confidence to try to push the ball forward. Headed into the half. Definitely don't want to give up anything here. Uh, counter play. Stuffed. Great job. Fletcher Cox cleans it up. Second and eight. And it doesn't look like he's playing with much tempo here. Clock is still dwindling. He's on the 27 yard line. He's still coming out in 21 personnel. So it looks like he's really content with taking this into the half and kind of getting this reloaded for the second half and making his comeback attempt. First half has definitely been all Eagles. Very, very pleased with both sides of the ball. All three phases, actually. So here, again, as one of my biggest pet peeves, drive concept. And I'm in cover four and what I should be doing is I should be playing that scene and working my way down to the flat but what I'm doing is I'm, I'm, I'm getting too excited and I'm playing the flat and then working my way up that's that's not discipline and if I play the way I should play that I possibly get an interception there gotta be better it's the small stuff and looks like he's taking the shot deep in big play slay with another interception. Second one of the game, and he gets a little shifty during the return. 30 seconds left. It looks like we may just have to take this into the half. We'll see. Probably one run one play. Let's see what we get from it. But look at big play Darius Slay tormenting his former team. Two interceptions, picking off Jared Goff twice. Tip drill on his previous pick. Back in the A set again. 12 personnel, Trey Sermon. Big run by Trey Sermon, and 
I kind of, no, I think we'll take it to the half here. I'm content with the 20 to nothing score. There's no need to give him any hope, give him any life. Got an interception, shut his drive down. Let's just take it to the half. Great first half of football. I'm content. All three phases is almost dominated. And let's just keep it moving. Continue this more in the second. Definitely want to make sure we set our focus. We want to control the middle of the field on both offense and defense. So we want to be very precise with our passing in the middle of the field. Um, because he has been playing some, uh, some, some hard flats. And we definitely want to make sure that we get back to taking care of the middle of the field and working our way down rather than the inverse. That's just a good, good, good discipline technique just to be, to be focused on throughout the game, um, especially against a lot of these, these drive techniques, the dagger concepts, drive concepts. Um, you you want to get up into that seam, especially in the seam flats, in those curl flats. You want to get up as the curl defender and work your way down to the flat. The same thing in that seam. Looks like I'm in the cloud flats here. Uh, covered the cloud. Adjusted it to cloud flats on both sides. And the same thing again. Here we go again. I just mentioned it. I did it again. I should be right in that window. That should be another interception, but instead of working it up to down, I'm working, I'm, I'm in, actually in this situation, I'm in that no man's land in between. Got to get better. Heavy on the weeks, heavy toward the boundary this side. On that left hash, we got us. Uh, great job, great defense. We kind of overplayed that side, and, you know, he didn't make any adjustments. He ran right into it two-yard game. Gun tight. And as always, we usually with gun tights, we're going to zone this up in this mid part of the field. We want to make sure we don't give out any easy completions to the sidelines. Bradbury should be getting deep here. He's not. He played the flat. It worked out, but it looks like Black Bradbury should be in the deep third here. That deep left third. He, for some reason, he matched with this out route in the bench concept. Didn't, and our safeties are flip-flopping here. We want to switch this out right now. All of a sudden, it messes our defense up. Now we're in this. We're kind of spread out in this cover two and third down. We give him the first down. Yeah, I don't know why our, our, our two safeties flip-flopped here. Forced me to have to audible and, you know, we're just scrambling here. We give up a first down that we probably could have stopped if we were in the, the right defense and the right state of mind and ready for, ready for the snap. No worries. Just move on. Next play mentality. A lot of cover three the past quarter. Screenplay and <laughs> blown up by Fletcher Cox. Wow. This front seven, I'm telling you, the athletes that we have on this defensive line from Josh Sweat to Fletcher Cox to Jordan Davis to Brandon Graham to Hassan Riddick, it's unbelievable. Another bunch set here. Bunch set I usually like to put myself in cover two zone. We want multiple defenders underneath. Great defensive stop here. Two yard gain. Got a tight end drag with a tight end angle route. 
12 personnel there. A lot of 12 personnel for the Lions so far this game as well. We'll see if he continues to stay in that despite being down three scores. As the second half continues, he may have to become a little bit more aggressive in his formations just to give himself a chance. Um, you know, this 12 personnel is not really going to threaten these corners. Golf drops back and a big sack again. Josh Sweat shuts this drive down, forced the punt. Let's do it. Very, very pleased with this defense. Not worth to field that punt. Better to let it run into the end zone. All right, now this drive. Now these are the tricky positions here because you don't know whether you want to keep the pedal to the metal here or play a little clock management. Seven minutes and 30 seconds left on this clock in the third quarter. You have an opportunity to run some clock off, run some clock off, or let's just keep our foot on the gas and continue to put pressure on them since they haven't stopped us. 11 personnel. Great throw over the middle to Goddard and the skinny post. Hook defender, for some reason, is playing the drag underneath, which opened up Goddard, the skinny post, down the middle of the field. Big completion. Goddard's been very quiet today so far, haven't really needed his services as much. Kind of been in control throughout this whole game. Sound passes by Jim Hurts. Inside zone, sort of an unnecessary juke by Boston Scott. It sounds it looking like he may have had a longer gain had he just kept pressing and bending that run to the right. At this point, the Detroit Lions have to feel like you know, almost helpless. They haven't really been able to stop anything that we've done. It's a great feeling. Three receivers to the right, three by, three by one formation. Big throw to the sideline by Jalen Hurts. Sitting on that left hash, drives the ball all the way across the field over the flat defender. Wow. To Quez Watkins, who parks himself right up against the sideline, makes a big catch. And the Eagles, we are threatening again. Split backfield. And this was a tough, just got to get rid of this one. Yeah, I had a couple options. I had. Boston Scott sitting down in the middle of the field. I had Miles Sanders on a wheel route. I had a couple of options on this play, but I hesitated and waited a little too long. I didn't want to force it. I'd rather throw that away and move on to the next down. Sometimes that's just the best method. Rather than trying to force something, force a late throw and giving someone hope that that ultimately has none at this point. <laughs> the only way to, to give him hope is to let him back in with a foolish decision. Quarterback rap. Like the play call. Good, good, you know, a small three-yard game, but sometimes with some of these runs, you don't get a lot of yardage, but I show him that I will call a quarterback design run. So you have to always look out for it, specifically when you have guys like Jalen Hurts with this type of athleticism and his speed. You have to keep it honest. You have to make them respect it by at least showing the willingness to call it at some point. Third down here. Not a crucial third down, but one I definitely like to complete. 
great route by Devontae Smith, who sits down right in front of that hook defender, makes the catch, and is able to break a tackle and complete the first down. Big play. Devontae Smith is having a very, very quietly decent game. Have yet to hear from A.J. Brown yet. I think he's he hasn't even received a target yet so far. Now this situation, if this middle, if this Mike linebacker sits on Miles Sanders, he that pump fake, and he didn't take it. Touchdown! Great throw. I, 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 he did not take it. It looked like it was on, but the user was there. I pump faked him just to get him this to freeze for a moment. He froze and delivered it right over the top. Excellent throw by Jalen Hurts. Wow, great throw. Way to hold on to the ball, too, Miles Sanders. Let's go. And this might do it. 27 nothing. The way that this game has been played, it's very, very hard to see them scoring 27 unanswered. It'll be interesting to see how he comes out. Khalif Raymond looks like he might have a... Oh, what a... Stop by number 33. Slows him down just a little bit because Khalif Raymond was gone. Thank you for saving the shutout. Wow. That's why it's very imp imperative to not lose focus on these kick returns. Punt returns, kick returns. Stay focused. Keep your gap integrity. Keep your lane integrity. Don't get extra excited and try to make plays that you don't have to. Just be disciplined. Almost gave up a touchdown there, but fortunately for me, we saved. Single high safety, Mike Epps. DeAndre Swift. Looks like they're still running the ball. Backup tight end, Grant Calicatera. Injured. Looks like he's probably going to miss the rest of the game. Counter play there, four yard game. Um, and I guess the Detroit Lions are kind of telling us what they think about this game. That they kind of believe it's over too. Still running the ball. Trips tight end look here. We usually like to zone these up. Cover four, cover two, sink. We don't really have a sink, so cover four might have to get it done. And I'm going to play this seam flat. Kobe Dean and great defense there by Darius Slay. Continues to play very well. Another bunch set. A lot of bunch sets. I feel like. Now, because of our home field advantage, we have his primary route identified, and it's that spot and go route. I'm going to bait it with Epps. He didn't throw it. Great, great job not to to, fall, to take the bait and just be solid. Hit the running back out the flat, pick up the first down. I was in that buzz. It's good. It's a good one of the few good. Um, good decisions that was made there by Jared Goff. One of the very few. I was definitely waiting for that that spot and go. I was I was I was baiting it with that and that buzz. Now this definitely looks like cover zero, but it's not. Obviously, this is three. Good completion to Hawk. Great completion. He read it, got rid of it quickly. Bliss didn't get there in time. Drop back, stepped up strong in the pocket, delivered the strike. TJ Hawkinson, run after the catch. Great completion. He's back in that 21 personnel. See, the play calling, his play calling is really 
got me a little off guard. You know, there's there's moments where he looks like he could could push the issue, then he comes back out in 21 personnel. Even if he's running play action like he is, it's easy for me to. And what a drop by DeAndre Swift! Wow. Yeah, when it rains, it pours sometimes, and you know, right now. It's not looking good for Detroit. Everything is going bad. Players, their premier players are just, don't seem into it. DeAndre Swift with a very uncharacteristic drop wide open in the flat. Off the boot. They are threatening her in the red zone. Second and ten. Another counter play. Stopped by Mike Epps. I call him Mike Epps. <laughs> no disrespect to my boy Marcus. Another bunch look. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. You guys on the line. And what a throw by Jared Goff. Through the out route to St. Brown. Touchdown. Right over top of the hard flats. So, he didn't get the shutout, but 27-7 is, is still a, a, a deep enough deficit for us to be excited about. Now, we definitely would have wanted to have the bragging rights for having, I think we would have been the only team to shut out our opponent if we would have kept going with, you know, the dominance that we had on defense. A couple of good plays that drive, though. Pass to Hawkinson. Some decent runs. Obviously, that last strike at the end over the top of the flat. Great job. Don't need to come out and do too much offensively here except for run the ball. The clock is our friend. You need to let it run. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. You're three scores to the good. What's your approach on it? Miles Sanders with a first down run. Chew up the clock. Chew up the clock. We'll probably have to. Okay. We'll probably go run, 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 run. And force some of them to stop us. I feel like I definitely haven't gotten Jalen Hurts enough design runs. to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. Looks like we have the hat advantage on this side. Sanders pushes through four yards. Good run. I'm going to try to get Kenny Gainwell somewhere. Carries. He's a running back. We're definitely going to feature a lot this year. Miles Sanders in a contract year, obviously, will we'll let that play itself out. Kenny Gainwell off tackle. Great block by Isaac Sayamalu. Kenny Gainwell makes a guy miss as well. See, this is the reason why we need to get Kenny some more carries. And that caused the quarter. We're into the fourth. 14 points in the first, six in the second, touchdown in the third, and obviously their touchdown that they just scored in the third as well. Bounce scoring quarter by quarter by the Eagles. Love to see it. Love to see it. So the ball moves 
No reason to do anything else except for continue to throw the ball. A little misdirection with this motion, and then more misdirection. And Kenny Gainwell breaks one to the outside. Can he go? I think they have the angles on a great run by Kenny. The only problem with this is we ended up out of bounds. Great run by Kenny Gainwell. And you would think that Miles Sanders has a little bit more burst in him, but his he's bursty out of these runs, man. He is exploding off the edge. Now it's first and ten, as you said, in the red zone. Exploding around the edge. I mean, wow. Just did it heading right. Now this time coming back left on the counter. Big time game by Kenny. First and ten. Looks like we may be in threatening to score again. And we have yet to throw the ball. Offensive line is feasting. Great call. Dive to Sanders. Touchdown. The offensive line creates a massive hole in that eight gap. And if it wasn't over at 27-7, it's 100% over at 35-7. Early in the fourth quarter. Twenty-seven point game now. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliot. Thoroughly impressed by the Eagles. Continuation of the dominance from the first half. Thoroughly impressed. And they'll get him down right at the twenty-five yard line for the same result, and he opted for the touchback. Still don't want to give up any big chunk plays. It looks like I believe they'll probably come out running the ball here. Just looking to get out of this game. Another tight set. Bunch set, tight set. They really love. It's going to come in handy when they have more pieces to add to St. Brown and Williams. Another great stop by Hassan Riddick off the edge again. It's so hard to get off tackle against this front. Make it very hard. It's a lot of speed, really underrated speed on the edge of this team. You put a lot of pressure on your quarterback to bail you out when you're in second and long yardage. Second and 12. Stay on the ground again. Good stop. Sometimes it's so hard to figure out what's a call because you've had such success and they haven't, obviously. <laughs> so it's like, I uh, hear the angle route, and I may have gotten away with a little bit of a illegal contact but they didn't call it I felt like I may have stopped him from running that angle route but either way here we're at 4 for 7 and you know looks like they're content to get out of here they're punting 4 for 7 now they are on their 29 yard line so it would be tough they would be almost begging me to score again if they didn't get it and Quez Watkins looked like he may have had a crease. A good kick that time, but also a pretty good 15 yard return. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. First and 10, no reason to do anything but run the ball and continue to run clock. Anything else would be foolish. Bottom line. We already did our work in the, the previous three quarters of this game. There's no need to do anything else. 34 to 7. Let's get out of here. Another counter. Kenny Gainwell stuffed. Five rushes for 61 yards. That's a big game for him. May need to look to get him some more carries. In this game and next.
The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. 21 personnel. Hand off to Gainwell again. Another big run by Gainwell. I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Tried to run the power read. It's great defense, had nothing. Read defender. Had the running back boxed up, and everyone else flew to the quarterback. Great defense. Eight minutes left in the game. Uh, you're just looking to not give up any big plays here at this point. Don't give up anything cheap. Uh, he's coming out in 11 personnel. Most likely will be a two by one set. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but. And look at Jordan Davis chase down that screen. Brandon Graham with the passing, roughing the passer, but Jordan Davis showing his athleticism, showing why he was a highly touted draft pick out of Georgia. Wow. Hawk that screen down by himself. That's a 350 pound man. 1 high here, want a man up. This is kind of a tricky situation to man up, giving him some one on one opportunities here, but he has not been able to move the ball at all. And the running game has really been stuffed. Taylor Decker injured. That's tough. He's already had a hard time handling these edge rushers. And now all of a sudden you lose your one of your starting tackles. Doesn't bowl well for the oncoming games for the Detroit Lions. It looks like they're in the pistol. I'm going to jump in the double stack. 11 personnel. Two by one set. Two by two set, excuse me. Okay. Riddick. Edge defenders have been dominant this game. Son Riddick, Josh Sweat, stifling defense they played though so far this afternoon. Empty set here, interesting. So it looks like they finally decided to get a little aggressive in their formation. Empty set here, we're in cover four. We're going to play the boundary side. And again, Defensive line gets another sack. Fletcher Cox. Looks like Fletcher Cox has another sack and we force a punt here. At this point, it may be time to get our boy Kenneth Gainwell over the century mark. He's had a monster game. We need someone to run the ball to close this close this game out. I look to be run, 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 and more run so we can get out of here with this 
first win of the season. Oh, Gainwell with a nice cut inside. Seven rushes for 78 yards now by Gainwell. Big game by him so far. Another run directly up they got by Gainwell. Another first down. And this may be something we might have to look into week two. Miles Sanders started the game off. You know, he didn't play particularly bad, but, you know, Gainwell is just coming with so much pop and burst. And he just, you know, I know Miles Sanders is supposed to be uh, a, fat, a more explosive athlete than him, speed wise, and, you know. But Gainwell, the way he's running, I mean, he's running like a man possessed. Give him a spell here and run with Boston Scott and probably an unnecessary spin there, but nice run by Boston Spot picks up Boston Scott picks up seven yards. May have been able to get got more if he had not spun, but you live and you learn. Have enough cushion here on this score to kind of have those errors. <laughs> Back to the game well counter for a first down. Nine rushes, 88 yards, 12 yards away from the century mark now. Those mastodons. Big run again by Gainwell. Tenth of carry of the game, 93 yards. That's a 9.3 yards per carry average. Second and five. Five straight runs. Five straight runs to start this drive and it's basically in this game. And at this point, we might be crazy not to run the ball with Gainwell here. I think he's seven yards away from hitting 100 yards for the game. Hand it off to him again. And it looked like he may have had a crease to burst out of there, but great job by the defense to bottle him up before he was able to cross that first down marker again. Now we want to look for a big run play here. We're going to come into this bunch set and try to get him out on the edge on a toss. We've had a lot of success getting out on the edge. We'll see what Lane Johnson can do here, see if he can set this edge. And look at Lane Johnson. He's out. Big block by Lane Johnson. And that's going to give Kenneth Gainwell 100 yards on the ground, 116 yards 12 attempts, great running game, great defensive game, great game all the way around. It looks like the Philadelphia Eagles are going to get our first victory in the Legacy Football League, and we will start off 1-0. We are in a very, very competitive NFC East division. Um, the user who is on the New York Giants has won multiple Super Bowls in this league, as did the owner of the Washington Commanders. They've won multiple um, Super Bowls as well. And the owner who is 
um, commanding the Dallas Cowboys, has previously won a Super Bowl in past cycles, but he's also a decent user. So this is a definitely the best division in this league this particular cycle. And Sanders, he's getting into it himself, and it's just I'll just get down. Just makes sense to get down here inside of one minute and 50 seconds, first and goal. There's no need to call any more plays. Great effort by Miles Sanders here to shut a tackle, but this, it's just time to get down there. Let's go ahead and kneel this one out and get out of this cold city with a victory. It's always cold in the day. Victory formation, baby. It's nothing sweeter. One thing about this, when you're staring up at a 34 to 7 beatdown and the other team jumps into that that winning formation it burns it burns now from the nine here's second and goal Great game all the way around. Defensively, um, the decision-making, throwing the ball. Uh, we had no sacks, no interceptions, no negative plays. Just a very, very sound way to open up the season. And that's basically what we expect for the remainder of the season. Continue to play well, low turnovers, and forcing teams to turn over the ball lose games. As this one officially goes final, your Philadelphia Eagles, 1-0. Detroit Lions rebuilding, 0-1-1. GG's around to them. 34-7 is your final. Jalen Hurts, quiet game, didn't have to do too much. The defense held it down, did everything. And um, that's kind of going to be a lot of the theme this cycle until we get Jalen Hurts out there slinging around looking like baby Russell Wilson. So next week, we take on the Vikings. Until then, thanks for tuning in. Like, share, subscribe, all that good jazz. Catch you next week. Peace. Aww.